Hello! Today we will talk about some books that have helped me in my journey of weight loss during a COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. Welcome, I am Ruth Mejia and this is Ruth All Things Beauty. This is a part of my series about my weight loss journey, how I lost 81 pounds during a uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And these are the books that I have read, continue to read and um, have helped me in the process to have a better understanding and also in, in pursuing for long-term results and um, more uh, healthier, life in the future and now of course so if you have not done so yet please subscribe hit the notification bell uh, please comment if there is any other topic that you would like me to address or to discuss here if I receive the, the same question repeatedly I may try to do a live and I will really will be trying to do a live once a week just to discuss the things and to answer questions regardless the topic as far as this respectfully I will be willing to respond as much as I can now to the topic um, I will start with this one this is how to be successful with your gastric um, surgery long term and this shows you how the process what they do is they cut this big part of the stomach this is Dr. Uh, Duke V. Wong, uh, Wong, and this is a really easy to understand uh, for you to, to have a clear idea on what are you getting into and just not going and realize the procedure because what happens after, it's more important than the surgery itself for long-term results. Many, many times people do this procedure and very short after they gain their weight back. So what I'm trying to do all the time that I was using thinking in food or fulfilling other needs with food, I just now getting food for my brain, if that makes sense. So in that same uh, in that same line, I have by Dr. Matthew Weiner. This is a really wonderful, easy to understand approach as well. He's also a bariatric surgeon, and this is called a pound of cure. This is a saying about pound of cure is better than an ounce of disease or something like that. But a very, very good method and very clear. And also they have uh, how weight loss surgery really works. He has a wonderful um, smoothie, which is the one I do is very similar to his. Or it's kind of a clone between his and Dr. Bong. Uh, a smoothie is really beneficial because you will have it directly easily to absorb the nutrients for fruits and vegetables and it will keep you satiated you don't have to waste a lot of time cooking and again it's very easy the most vegetables and fruit you eat the more success long term you will have okay now I have also a food journal here you will write down because many many times we think we didn't eat and we eat a lot so you will write everything that you eat all day long every day it's called car manager okay come on and here you it's basically the same but doing on your phone for those people that are prefer the modern ways and um, because it's not midnight what I locked during the day is gone but yes it's midnight now so very easy and also dr. Weiner has one that is called I'm trying to load it to show you and I use both this one he's not measuring carbs or measuring um, fat none of that he basically is a calor ratio that's the name and here basically is if you have an 80% of the of the food that you ingest vegetables and and fruit you're good to go okay and the 20% of that so you it doesn't matter the amount but the quality of the nutrients that you ingest. Uh, they're very easy to use and very easy to understand. 
and also give you peace of mind because it doesn't matter you can eat a pound of, of strawberries and as he said nobody has gone to a doctor office saying that they become obese because they were eating fruits or veggies okay another one is and this one i've been talking about a lot i recommend it i gift it i do everything that is in my power to make this message to rich people uh none of this is a sponsor as you should know but i will link the um i will put the links down below in the description box so you can also try them this is dr andrew bale and this is eight weeks for ultimate health it will work for you even if you're not obese but you have a couple extra pounds or a couple extra inches around your midsection it is very easy to understand and believe me i have applied many of these concepts and i have seen results that's why i also have fast food good food this is not mcdonald's fast food this is fast food because it's easy and fast to prepare so the less you have to cook the better for you and um I also have this, the guide to ultimate health, and this is the part of you relief from stress and things like that. So his approach is a very eclectic, like, like I am. It is like a combination of conventional medicine and oriental um, kind of healing processes, and I truly, truly believe they work. I also have micronutrition for bariatric patients. It's a very also good way to understand what you put in, how it works, how, because we're looking for long-term results. The first year is very easy. You don't have to do a lot. The, the weight will come off very easy, but I know at least three people that have done bariatric surgery and I see them later on a year, later on, or a couple of months and the person has gained all the way back. So restriction in terms of, oh, you can eat only very little is not a guarantee that you will remain slim. So you need to put the work. This is um, a help. It's not a, a solution. It's not a magic pill. It's something that you have to work a lot and you need to educate yourself to understand what you were doing wrong and how you can prevent that from happening again. That's why the time I use eating or overeating, now I'm feeding my brain with knowledge, okay? This one is uh, Los Alimentos Que Curan, the food that heals. It's not a new, it's nothing new. It's been known forever. Um, unfortunately, I feel like in this country, it's really hard to have because raw fruits, vegetables are very expensive. And that's why people tend to go the other way because it shouldn't be like that. I understand that the agricultural things are not mainly produced here, but still it, it makes harder for people to eat better because if you have to pay $10 for a salad and you can get a Mac something for a dollar and you don't have a lot of money, what you will do? You just need to feel satiated, right? But this one is a really easy guide of food and what the benefits of it for you. And as you see, it's mostly what you should be eating. Fruit and colorful fruits and vegetables as well. In that same line, I have 500 low carb recipes that are very easy to do and also low uh, calorie. Very easy to understand and to do at home. 28 to younger skin, also through food. Very easy to follow. Fit for life. It gives you a program for four weeks and it has meals, exercises, everything. And, and it's focused on people of middle age as well. There is two books that I don't have with me, but I do highly recommend to read. I just um, gave it to a friend for read and they have not finished with it yet. One is the middle age middle and the other one is um, the obesity call by the Dr. Jason Fogg. He also have a YouTube channel that I will try to link as well. Um, there is another book that I've read is um, Eat Stop Eat. It's not a book, it's like a um, digital book, but it still works. And that one is basically about intermittent fasting, which many of us has heard at uh, this point. I have this one, I, th I say the name wrong, it's the Big Fat uh, Surprise. If you like meat, 
read this one it will work for you as well so there is everything for everybody and this is the zero belly diet again this is in 14 days you can lose up to 14 16 pounds and this is also about intermittent fasting and this one is um, physical shape how to live better and this is about exercising that you can do at home how does it works and uh, have several options of things that you can do with your own weight because you don't have to have the fear let's say you have a um, medical condition besides obesity or overweight that you want to treat and then you cannot go to the gym to lift weights but you can walk a little bit you can walk a little faster you can use your own weight and do push-ups and do pull-ups things like that the, the thing is you need to move in, in terms of gain strength, tonicity, and also uh, longevity. So it's all important. I This I revisit every time and I come back and every time I read again, I find information that it's uh, important uh, or relevant or I see with different eyes and oh my God, oh wow, that's great. So thank you, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to put a comment and ask me a question and I will try to to answer that question in the best of my ability. If I receive the same questions many times, I may do a live or another video to answer. Thank you for your support and see you in the next time.